The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Guys, today we are going to talk about how you should eat to prevent cancer. Yes. See, research has shown that a healthy diet can actually lower the risk of certain cancers and additionally it can prevent other diseases like diabetes, heart disease, osteoporosis, right? So the good a good nutrition is very helpful in maintaining a good healthy weight as well as a good health overall health right people who are overweight or obese are obviously at high risk of many health problems including cancer so the idea is to take a high fiber a low fat and uh, a good normal protein high protein diet with regular exercise that can actually help you lose weight and keep it off permanently right so can certain dietary choices reduce your risk of cancer absolutely see there are so many studies which are going on in diet and health and we researchers are continuously exploring whether certain foods and nutrients can reduce the risk of cancer and see results are not very consistent and vary by person to person but there are many things which have helped a lot what are those things fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables can actually lower the risk of lung oral cancers lung cancers esophageal stomach cancers colon cancer it's very good for your digestive system cancers right then there is something called as a mediterranean diet that can actually protect against other types of cancers the diet basically focuses on eating a lot of fruits vegetables beans whole grains and fish right that's the idea in mediterranean diet calcium and vitamin d can also lower your risk of colorectal cancers and folic acid folic acid can protect against cancer as well so all these things should be there in your diet so is there anything specific that you can do to improve your diet yes see first thing is a balanced diet you need to include variety of fruits vegetables whole grains legumes like uh, nuts seeds and for proteins you can take non vegetarian things like fish poultry poultry lean meat low fat low fat or fat free dairy products or even if you are vegetarian you can take soya proteins and you can take uh, milk and uh, all the legumes these are good right but the most important thing is fats certain fats should be a part of your diet and that can actually lower the risk of diseases these are good fats right and this these can actually help you lower your cholesterol levels as well these are like these are uh, mono monosaturated fats these are monosaturated polysaturated and omega 3 these are the three types of fats which are good fats monosaturated fats are found in canola oil olive oil avocado and peanuts right and other nuts also not other nuts oils right they are good they are also found in legumes olive seeds nuts and uh, other fruits like avocado avocados right and uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids fats are found in vegetable oils like corn sunflower safflower these are also found in soya beans and some types of grains legumes nuts and seeds the idea is that oil should be mono or polyunsaturated right and less quantity should be saturated then omega-3 fatty acid which are found in oily fishes like salmon sardines mackerel these are also found in uh, vegetable choices like flaxseed flaxseed oil walnuts right these are good these are very good for your health so you should actually limit the amount of bad fats and includes and uh, include these good fats and say no to trans fats right trans fats are bad saturated fats are okay in a limited amount right so these are the bad fats are found in fast food fried food snacks food baked foods so all these processed foods are not good for you right so that's the idea 
then there is something called as phytochemicals yes phytochemicals what are these these are substances which is found in plant based food and there are experts that believe that this can actually reduce your cancer risk and there is also support that this can actually uh, support your health of bone heart brain as well right common type of phytochemicals are basically vitamin c or folic acid and less common are isoflavonoids then flavonoids phytosterols and other many flavonoid uh, phytochemicals are there what are good sources of phytochemicals broccoli cauliflower carrots tomato grapefruits garlic peas beans whole grains nuts flax seeds include these in your diet right then there are questions like should i take herbs or dietary supplements see it's easy to get excited about claims that the latest dietary supplement would prevent or cure cancer however these are marketing claims and are not likely to have any proven benefit right there is no proof that shows that multivitamins can help you reduce your cancer risk right talk to your doctor before adding any herbs or supplements to your diet extreme changes in your diet can actually put you at risk of new health problems right so it's important then what are the foods that actually increase your risk of cancer yes there are right although there is no clear evidence about whether certain food products prevent cancer but research has shown that these can increase the risk of cancer right uh, this is very important see prevention might not be uh, a sure thing but risk increase is there so what are these food which you should avoid heavily processed meat just like like ham bacon sausage salami bologna all these processed meat are bad they increase your risk of colorectal cancer if you eat them too often so not don't eat once in a while is okay but don't eat them regularly foods that are high in foods that are high in saturated fats they can lead to weight gain and being overweight increases your risk of too many types of cancers no doubt then alcohol alcohol can increase your risk of mouth throat esophagus liver breast colorectal cancer alcohol is very bad men should not have more than two drinks per day women should not have more than one drink per day i have already told what are the normal limits of the drink so i'll let you know again one drink is like 12 ounces uh, of a bottle of beer and 5 uh, ounces of a glass of wine and uh, 1.5 ounce 15 ounces of 80 proof 15 ounces of 80 proof distilled spirit distilled alcohol right so you need to limit your drinks it's very important and if you have any doubt that you have a risk of cancer then it's best to go and see your doctor so this is all about what you can do to increase or decrease your risk of cancer thank you so much for watching stay healthy guys stay connected